So, so it turns out building this YouTube studio is a serious job. <laughs> uh, let me go up to my usual spot at the top of the garden. Coming on, I'm in there. Couldn't possibly confess to things being over time or over budget, could I? That would be. Yeah, they're getting there, they're getting there. I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, in actual fact, I'm gonna do a series. We'll call it an, a little mini series for the fed up landlord. Uh, maybe the worried landlord. We've had quite a few um, but a noticeable number of, of, of emails, conversations over the last couple of weeks, months um, with existing clients and people that come to see us. Uh, and they're worried about a number of things. Um, and I think it just needs a bit of a wash up uh, going through our answers to each one of those. Back at the top of the garden, this is what I used to sit and do, and do videos. Um, let me get my notebook out and go through them. So in no particular order, the things that are worrying landlords. Um, maybe maybe a, the biggest thing, the thing that caused the most amount of um, noise, if you like, at our end was there was a government white paper that came out the other day, uh, potentially ending Section 21, reforming reforming the, uh, the, 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 the Rent Act. Uh, then there's EPC rules. Uh, they get talked about a lot at the moment. Um, utility cost rises, you know, just generally prices going up and that's particularly uh, if you're an HMO landlord. More licensing, just we're seeing more licensing in more areas where we buy houses. Uh, Section 24 tax still comes up now. It's been a topic of conversation for years, but if you haven't sorted it out, it's this year and last year, but basically you're paying the bill this year. Uh, where it really comes home to roost and um, if you haven't got that sorted out then there's also the interest rate rises or potential interest rate rises i mean they've gone up a little bit now and potentially we're going to go up some more uh, there's a few other things as well now the reason i think it needs uh, uh, a, a series of videos I mean, there's, there's a number of things there um but i think that we need to we need to go through those things one by one um, we have a plan for every single one of those. When these, when these, um, we have these individual conversations, it's quite a, a nice thing to be able to go through line by line. Say, look, what about this? What about that? And we, we've got a, a solution or a thought that sort of um, calm, calms everything down when you when you when you hear it. Um, for every single one of those, I mean, just really, really, really roughly. Um, I mean, the government white paper. Um, th 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 there's a blueprint for that. Having 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 happened elsewhere, Scotland, something similar has happened and it made very little difference in to our kind of properties, to our, to, 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 our, to you, our landlords. If you're, if you're a professional landlord and you're gonna be, um, it will cause very few things. There's a checklist things you need to get right. I'm almost certain everybody that watches these videos will have got those things right anyway. Um, but, but I can give you that in, the, in, in a little mini series. EPC rules, again, there's, there's, a, there's a, you know, no, no need to rush out and do all sorts of things that people were talking about. We'll, we'll, we'll take our time. We've got, we've got a period of time to phase it in. Maintenance will happen. And we, we've, we've done a bit of a study and we think we can come in. Well, we know we, we're doing re renovations at the moment. They're, they're achieving the targets. And there's a couple of simple things you can do to make sure you're going you're gonna to do that. So we can cover those off. Um, utility cost rises. We've got some thoughts on that. We've got some solutions for that as well. If you're an HMO landlord, we put most of those in, in most of the properties that we've got already but there's some retrofit stuff if you haven't done that already um licensing or well, just like we love licensing we love selective licensing we've made a lot of money out of selective licensing re recently and um you know but when we tell our landlords that who are worried about it justifiably you know that the, the thought of it is um uh they're, they're surprised to hear our answer we love it we make loads of money out of it so, what are you talking about it's, it costs you, you know, anywhere between 300 and a thousand pounds you know for, for, for three to five years depending on what level what different rules haven't they so yeah we buy we buy these cheap houses in these cheap areas and they bring on the licensing and all the cheap landlords disappear and the houses become more expensive you know we, we still say it we've never bought a fifty thousand pound house that hasn't doubled in value in five years it's still true i've been saying it for for over a decade now we've never bought a fifty thousand pound house that hasn't 
hasn't doubled in value in five years. Why is that? It's because we're buying in the crummy areas that then get selective licensing and get, you know, on, on some small scale gentrified. And that's, that's brilliant. So we, we love selective licensing. Having that conversation with a landlord who's worried about it and just, just turns the whole conversation on its head. And that, that's great. Um, Section 24 tax, I mean, you just need to sort it. We can, we can, we can definitely help you with, with sorting that out. We're not accountants. We, we're not qualified advisors, but, you know, countless, almost all of our clients have, 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 have fixed that now and if you're one of them that hasn't then just stick your hand up and we'll put you in touch with the people who've sorted out you know 90 percent of all the other people interest, interest rate rises you yeah, know still money's still cheap there's, there's things you can do things you should be doing put you in touch with good mortgage brokers um yeah we 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 we, we feel i know that, that this needs to be a mini series so um uh, I will go through these one at a time. Um, I haven't made many videos recently. I apologise. This has been taken. I don't know if you noticed, but the, the, the website's changed. Lots of internal changes in our business. There's loads of things being done. I've been building this this YouTube studio, and um, you know, space space and, and time is, is is all quite limited. But I'm going to put a time time aside to do this. Make sure you subscribe so you'll get the uh, the, the, the links coming through and uh, you'll you'll see them. I don't know how many it'll be. Looks to me like at least at least two, if not three, perhaps four videos it'll be. We'll see. Um, but once you're subscribed, you'll get any updates on other other videos that come out that sort of add to it as as, as time goes on. You, yeah. the, the government white paper is still only a white paper. I'll give you my thoughts now, but uh, perhaps yeah, there will need to be an update in three months or so, whatever. When that YouTube studio has finally come out, with well, the pl the plan is when that's done, there'll be there'll be somebody employed full time to create videos and you know get me in front of the camera and the rest of the team as well. So there'll be a lot more uh, content coming out, which is is all yeah, we're looking forward to. That um, I'll leave you one last the last thought and um, yeah, in, in inflation, yeah, in inflationary times, having leveraged property is. It's not just a good bet, it's your best bet. It's, it's a brilliant um, hedge, isn't it? The value of what you've borrowed is going down in relative terms, isn't it? You know, the, the, every pound as it gets inflated away, the value of it gets inflated away, but the asset you've bought goes up. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, savers are robbed. That's what happens. Um, but look, every single thing that a landlord is coming to us and saying, I'm worried about this, I'm concerned, I don't know how to deal with it, there's an answer. And when you get to the bottom of it all, you end up with a pretty rosy picture. So there's no no need to be down in the dumps about it. We've got a fix for this and uh, yeah. Subscribe, listen to the videos, come along to a discovery day. You'll get to ask all the questions. We're not just putting a spin on it. We're genuinely positive about the next um, five, five years looking at looking ahead. Um, and, and if you're positive about the next five years, you can be positive about the rest of your life, can't you? Because you'll have fixed something and, and set something out up in those five years, which will will um, be an intergenerational wealth thing that you can pass down if you, if you do it well enough. So anyway, subscribe. I'll uh, send out the, uh, get the um, mini series recorded and they'll come out as soon as you have subscribed. Oh, you've got to press the bell as well. Subscribe and press the bell. Then you'll, you'll see those uh, start to come through to your inbox. Okay, bye for now. Never normally do this. I'm just gonna do, you know, like social media stuff pictures of random things going on that aren't really to do with work or the property but apparently people might be interested there we go there's the gaffer doing some work Oh, he's pissed off now. He's thinking, why the hell are you videoing this? <laughs> Just a bit of pressure, Gary. Yeah. Pressure you don't need. Pressure on you, Steve, yeah. It does mean that if you drop it, it will be on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right, yeah? yeah? You probably won't drop it. Probably be okay. Squeaky bum time. Yeah, we're on target, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On target, on budget. Can't say anything else, can I? <laughs> yeah. I think. I don't know if that noise is good or bad. I think it might just mean he's got out. I think that's all it means.
he looks happy enough, doesn't he? Yeah, looks happy enough. I do my usual walkthrough then. That's what I do for recording for posterity. There we go. Crane guy on site today, lifting all sorts in. That steel's going in. It looks quite small from down here, but up here. It's down there. I'm up here. It's small. It's not. It's big. <laughs> I, think that's, uh, I think that's a ton and a half. First fix is in. Fancy data cables in. They, they get blocked up, they're not. They're the old windows. On sweep the other side of that wall. That extends this, this bedroom floor out and the rest of the ceiling's vaulted. First fix in there. First fix in there. Little change of mind there happens. Wanted that a bit a bit more private from the garden. You can't see into the bedroom and it means the walls more years, wouldn't it? You can uh, put something against it. These are going in today. So that's a little window that crane's going to deliver, drop off. That's the same. So the crane's just put that one in. Clouds moving. <laughs> it looks like the windows slip. That's not where the windows meant to be, of course. The windows meant to be up to the top. And with the clouds moving, it just looked like the whole window was slipping down. I paused the video for a minute. Took a, took a datum, just make sure it. It's not moving. It's fine. They're coming back to. It's screwed in. So I've just checked with the guys. It's screwed in there and there. They're going to unscrew it, move it up. They'll put it there temporary. All this, um, the framework there, that's just to lift it. All that has to be come out and then they take it off and lift it in. But I just had a little, little panic thinking it's slipping down the roof. It's not slipping down the roof. Uh, that's in. That's done. That is where it lives. So that's, uh, that makes a big difference. All that light flooding down there. And that the same, that one's in as well. Right. Camera shy. That's all in. Stud wall gone in, shower behind it. What's in there? It's like little things you don't notice, but. Pipe. That's a big gas pipe, isn't it? Kit and all the all the pipe works in there, all the first fix plumbing, it's all all that's the new stuff. All in. Ready to um, ready to board. So this you know things like that's all been put over the top, ready to board. Little window details have been put in. So this this um, window comes out, sort of juts out from the from from the house, so all that's been put in. That's the opening for the new front door, that's all been done in. So there's a new room going out there. Garage underneath it, that all gets built last. Just need, need the space on the drive, can't have it now. You wouldn't have got all this work done, wouldn't have got skips in, so. Double sided log burner going in there. That's the kitchen. All this is being opened up as well, so there's a new, a new back door. That wall's come out. That's just storage now. Might be some water in there, wasn't there? Ootube studio down there. So here we are. This is this is my new office. <laughs> Doesn't look so salubrious right now, but here is the YouTube studio. That's decent space. We'll get some cameras hanging uh, from the ceilings, lights hanging from the ceiling, get it all rigged out properly. Anyway, there we go. Quite happy with that so far.